Does Putin have Parkinson's? My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse with experience in ER education and sleep therapy. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you four of the main symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And watch till the end, I'll go over the main side effects of common treatments for Parkinson's and some crazy side effects that we might have seen in President Putin. What is Parkinson's disease? It's a degenerative disorder of the central nervous system that affects your movement. This progressive neuro neurological disorder causes the death of dopamine producing cells in the brain which leads to motor symptoms like shaking, rigidity, means like your arms and limbs are rigid and also you move a lot slower. Also people with Parkinson's can experience other symptoms like depression and anxiety. In this image you can see he's gripping the table and he's really not sitting like a normal person would sit. He looks really rigid and I've seen this a lot in Parkinson's disease sufferers where they don't look like they're sitting very comfortably. Also the tremors in the legs you can see this is really classic for this disease. The exact reason why people develop it is unknown but researchers think it might be related to genetics or environmental factors such as head injuries, even viruses or maybe toxins. So the four main primary symptoms of Parkinson's disease are number one the tremor that's the shaking it often begins in the hand although sometimes foot or the jaw is affected first. Now this tremor has a really characteristic rhythmic back and forth motion you can see it in the thumb and the forefinger it looks like there's a pill rolling and it's really obvious when the hand is at rest and also what's interesting to note is that the tremor usually disappears during sleep and it improves a lot with purposeful intended motion so often at times when I've worked in care homes of somebody with Parkinson's disease we'll give them something to do with the hands like knitting or a puzzle or something intentional and that takes away the tremor. Rigidity is the next sign this is muscle stiffness or resistance to movement and this affects most people with Parkinson's. The muscles remain constantly tense and are contracted so that the person is so contracted like they'll feel achy and feel really stiff and so this rigidity becomes really obvious when another person tries to move the individual's arm which will only move like jerky movements and it's also known as cogwheel rigidity. Bradykinsia, this is the other sign. Um, this is slowing down of spontaneous and automatic movements. It's particularly frustrating because it may make simple tasks really difficult you know such as picking up the kettle making a cup of tea. They can't rapidly perform these routine movements. The next sign is postural instability. Um, that means you have an unstable gait, you can't keep your balance. Also with changes in the posture really increases the risk of falls. You can often see at times somebody's balance is off by the way they walk and they tend to walk at times with the head forward and the feet shuffling behind. Before we carry on to the treatment methods um, I just want to let you know this video is for educational purposes only and not a replacement for medical advice or treatment. Now there's no cure for Parkinson's but there are great medications that can provide improvement in the motor symptoms and medications fall into three categories. So you have drugs that increase the level of dopamine in the brain and the most common drugs for these are dopamine precursors. So drugs such as levodopa that cross the blood brain barrier and then change into dopamine. Then you have other drugs that mimic dopamine and prevent or slow its breakdown. Then there are drugs that affect the neurotransmitters in the body in order to ease some of the symptoms of the disease. For example you have your anti allergenic drugs these interfere with the production or uptake of the neurotransmitter and these can be effective in reducing tremors as well then you have medications that help control the non-motor symptoms of the disease that's the symptoms that don't affect the movement for example people with Parkinson's might experience related depression and they might be prescribed some antidepressants before we go over some side effects that we might have seen in a certain president I'd love to know your thoughts or any experience you have with this disease please let me know in the comments down below so initial side effects of liver dopa carbidopa. They might include nausea, low blood pressure, restlessness, drowsiness. And then you have side effects of the long-term or extended use of levodopa, which we might have seen in President Putin. There's been lots of reports in the news saying that he has Parkinson's and that the war on Ukraine is a side effect of these Parkinson's medications. So what do you think? Long-term effects of levodopa may include hallucinations, psychosis, involuntary movements such as twisting that might be mild or severe even later on in the course of the disease people with Parkinson's might begin to notice more pronounced symptoms so you'll wake up early in the morning and your Parkinson's symptoms are really severe I definitely saw that in um, a few patients that I've taken care of over my years of nursing and then once you give them the medications it's night and day but then again it wears off again so it's about finding that dose and balance people experience sudden unpredictable off periods where the medications don't seem to be working at all so one approach to this is to take levodopa more often 
often and in smaller amounts. And one thing I need to mention is that people with Parkinson's should never stop taking levodopa without their physician's input because it can have a rapid withdrawn effect and it's really, really serious. And since no two people will react the same way to a given drug, it might take time and patience to get the dose just right for somebody. Even then, symptoms may not be completely alleviated. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you want to know the fastest way to fall asleep, click here where I tell you what to do.